Well, if you look at Mihailovic's position, it's on the inside, so Lapalainen not a lot ahead of the ball for him. Everything's inside, so it's difficult for him to really find a pass. 64% possession for the New York Red Bulls. It's not something we readily associate the Red Bulls with having more of the ball. It's uh, only 13 minutes in. It was interesting to hear from Wilfred Nancy ahead of this fixture, suggesting that the Red Bulls play pretty much the same away from home as they do at home. They're a counter-attacking side. They don't necessarily have a lot of the ball. Well, Caceres and, and Drew Yerid have started really well in the middle of the park. He's just released the ball there, Caceres, but a heavy touch from Kamara, and Caceres was straight onto it. Here they go again. Yearwood coming forward. Pinos will play it forward. Opportunity for Fernandez takes a wicked deflection and flies in. Red Bulls on the charge early. Omer Fernandez with a deflected effort. Sebastian Breza was wrong footed. This lot don't care. Red Bulls lead. Yeah, fantastic start for them. Can't say it's not deserved. They've been brilliant on the front foot at their best, breaking the play up in the middle of the park. And then they go. Drew Yearwood at the heart of everything. Wins possession, shifts it inside to Caceres, passes it on to Fernandez. And it's a good strike, gets his shot off before he's closed down. They get a little contact, half a block on this. Just carries it past the goalkeeper. They've been superb so far, the Red Bulls. Second goal of the campaign for Fernandez. He netted against the Quakes. He's added to his tally here. Such a good player, Bronx born. Just 23, still plenty to offer. Came out of Wake Forest University. Okay, Struber giving him more responsibility this season. Only started eight games last term. But he's come on over the course of pre-season. He started every single fixture so far in 2022, and that's his second goal.